My name is Dave Paulding. I'm Regional Director for the UK and Middle East for Interactive Intelligence. The company has been around now for 22 years. Um, I joined the company back in 2003 and I've been here ever since. So Interactive Intelligence is focused around the areas of communications, collaboration and customer engagement. We provide solutions that enable our customers to better engage with their own customers and with their internal employees, partners and stakeholders. We have a range of products and services available today. Um, our primary offering for market is a brand new product called Pure Cloud. Pure Cloud is a cloud-based cloud offering um, hosted in Amazon's AWS Cloud and really gives customers a variety of different options in terms of how they consume our product and what they do with it. So Pure Cloud itself is really based around a concept that we have coined called C3, which stands for Communications, Collaboration and Customer Engagement and I think three things that most businesses today are looking to embrace and engage with. Um, the Pure Cloud platform comes in three flavors. Pure Cloud Collaborate, which actually is available as a free download, uh, as a piece of free software. Uh, it's something that the companies can use internally um, to enhance internal communication. So providing internal chat, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, chat rooms, uh, video chat, etc. Building on top of that, other organizations that want to then add in voice telephony functionality, can uh, leverage Pure Cloud Communicate, which adds rich unified communications functionality. And then beyond that, we have Pure Cloud Engage. Pure Cloud Engage is our platform for customer engagement and customer experience. So it allows our customers to engage with their own customers via uh, the variety or, or the, the communications medium of, of their customer's choice. Pure Cloud as a platform for us um, is a brand new product. Um, a couple of years ago, our CEO took the decision to take $100 million of money um, and start again effectively um, with a blank sheet of paper and design a product that was really suitable for what customers are demanding today. Um, we've been able to learn from our 20 plus years in the industry um, and make decisions that really um, give flexibility and choice. Um, it's not just the case of, of hosting a server in a data center. Um, most companies today would try and lock you into or tie you down to a lengthy contract and uh, make it difficult for you to get out of that contract. So we've decided to not do that. Um, so it's literally pay as you go. If you want to use it for 30 days and decide it's not for you, you can walk away. So in a sense, where's the risk? Um, the, the platform provides fantastic scalability um, and really fantastic uptime and, and reliability. So using a lot of the things that we've learnt through um, working with 6,000 customers over the last 20 years, um, we've honed the product to provide maximum uptime. I think if you look at um, the cloud industry today, clearly there are a number of different cloud platforms out there which we could have utilised. Um, things like Azure, um, things like you know, Google's computing power, etc. I think if you look at some of the independent um, analysts in the marketplace, people like Gartner, they would absolutely rate AWS as being the furthest ahead um, of, of anybody, really. And I think um, they've, they've built a fantastic platform. Um, people have asked us, can you take your pure cloud solution, your software, and could you put it into someone else's cloud platform? And I think it's so inherently built around AWS um, and some of the techniques, some of the architectures, that it's kind of very strongly wedded together with that today. So we've set down that path, and I think we've absolutely made the right choice. I think cloud is a, a further iteration of certain trends we've seen in the past. If you kind of trace back the world of software and technology, we tend to go through cycles. Um, once upon a time, we had centralized um, computing via mainframes, then it was very much client-server architectures, people buying, consuming, owning their own software and hardware. We kind of moved back again to the idea of consuming software as a service fundamentally today. I think things like artificial intelligence are having a big impact moving forward. Um, machine learning today is impacting um, the advances in artificial intelligence. So for example today, the idea of truly self-service in a customer service environment um, is still something of a future. People are used to maybe engaging with um, a voice IVR service and speech recognition, which is kind of self-service. But the idea with the software being able to truly service the customer without um, the need for a human being to be involved and, and without the need to be on the phone or, or typing an email or sending an SMS, I think is where some companies want to go to. 
And I think one of the things that we're looking to do with Pure Cloud Engage is to adopt a similar thing. So the idea being that instead of being thrown into a, an endless queue uh, and coming out the other end of that queue, you have more control about who you speak to. So, in effect, publishing uh, online individual feedback ratings for customer service agents, um, publishing their skills, their knowledge, their experience, their likes, their dislikes. So, for example, I can then go online and I can choose who, would I, who I'd like to speak to from that company rather than randomly being allocated to you know, any given person. So I think that's quite a different dynamic uh, and really changing the idea of, of social routing uh, and social customer service.